For years, when I went out for brunch, I'd always order my favorite eggs, Benedict. But when I went vegan, I thought that was it. I would never have it again. But after making plant-based ham in my last episode, I was motivated to continue my quest to veganize it. Through hours of experimentation and finding the burger dude and sauce stashes technique for creating plant-based yolks, I think I found a secret technique for creating a perfect egg white layer. So let's go get it. Start by blending 700 milliliters of distilled water and streaming in five teaspoons or about 18 grams of sodium alginate while the blender is running on low. Goop your goo into a container and make sure to play with it in slow motion. Now this thing will be filled with tiny air bubbles from the blender, so store it overnight in the fridge. So we're gonna make two separate mixtures, one for the egg whites and one for the yolk. Bust out your blender again and add one cup of unsweetened plain yogurt. I'm using this brand, but you don't have to. One fourth cup of glutinous rice flour, one cup of aquafaba, which is the fancy word for the juice from a can of beans. Mmm, bean juice. And salt to taste, I used about a fourth teaspoon. Now make sure the blender is running on low and stream in one fourth teaspoon of xanthan gum and then four grams of calcium lactate. That sucker is gonna thicken up and resemble the consistency of egg whites. Now clean out the blender, let's make our runny yolk mix. So go ahead and blend 7.5 ounces or about a half a can of pumpkin, a half cup of the same vegan yogurt you used before, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, half teaspoon of MSG, which is optional, one and a half teaspoon of salt, one fourth cup plus two tablespoons of aquafaba, two tablespoons of neutral oil. Now again, while the blender is running on low, shake in eight grams of your calcium lactate powder. Now examine the sauce. It should be runny, but not watery. And now we're on the egg express lane to making our poached eggs. Scoop in about one and a half tablespoons of your yolk mix and using a rubber spatula gently in one motion, squeegee the yolk into the alginate and then immediately take two spoons and shape the mix into a ball. After one minute or so, use a slotted spoon to gently remove the yolk from the alginate bath and then plop it into the water bath next door. Repeat this process until you have the desired number of yolks. Use a large container for the water as the yolks tend to stick together if they touch within the first minute or so. These yolks can be eaten on their own at this step, so if you wanted to stop here, now is your chance. You don't have to put all of your eggs in one basket. <laughs> Huh. So what's happening is that the sodium alginate is mixing with the calcium lactate in the yolk sauce. This creates an edible sphere through a chemical reaction around the sauce called reverse spherification. While those sit in their little water bath, smear a thin layer of egg white sauce on a plate, remove the yolk from the water bath, dunk briefly in the alginate, just enough to get coated, and then place it on top of your schmear. Now paint your yolk gently with a thin layer of egg white. As you apply the white sauce, it will begin to adhere to the yolk due to the alginate on its skin. You'll be done when it looks just like a poached egg. Now blop that right back in the alginate bath to solidify the shape and then take it to the water bath for another minute. Once you've created all the poached eggs you're gonna serve, add it to hot water around 130 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. This will heat up the poached eggs and keep them moist. Now before we assemble the greatest egg benedict known to man, we need to make the homemade ham. Since I just did the ultimate seitan ham in my last episode, we'll do a quick run through here. So go ahead and hydrate and dye two bags of flour, wash them completely until there is no starch dunes hanging out in your gluten, rest and then combine them into one ball. Add seasonings like homemade smoked salt and mushroom powder, and then massage in vegan butter and not the dough. Wrap in a cheesecloth and slow cook in four hours in a brine, baste with a smoky maple glaze in the oven and serve. Now, what is an Eggs Benedict without a rich, buttery hollandaise sauce. We just together a half cup of vegan mayo or sub a fourth cup of the mayo with this vegan Greek yogurt, if you can find it, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, four teaspoons of lemon juice and four teaspoons of vegan butter, and then heat it up. Now we assemble. Now either make your own English muffins or attempt to buy them fresh from a local bakery. Toast them on a pan with some butter while you grill up some thick slices of your ham. Then layer those over each other and crown your hammy prince with this fluffy white crown of flavor. Drizzle with deliciously buttery hollandaise sauce and garnish with black salt and finely diced parsley. It's a beautiful combination of flavors and textures, exactly like I remember Eggs Benedict before I went vegan. To see how the plant-based ham in this recipe is made, click the card on your screen now. And if you got value out of this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, be nice to each other and keep cooking.